All right, guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and start our gridding demo. In order to grid, this is the best way to learn how to draw. So, gridding will help you get everything proportional. So this is gonna be your practice in your sketchbook. The most important thing I want you to keep in mind is that I don't want you to do any of the lettering or any of that detail. Just ignore those parts. Pretend like they don't exist, okay? I just want you to draw the cassette tapes and work on some value and shading in here. So what we're gonna do is glue stick this onto your sheet of paper. It doesn't have to be super well done, just enough that you get the borders. And he's on there super evenly. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to start with my grid. What you want to do is take your ruler. The most important thing with gridding is to remember that you want to drop very lightly, otherwise it's going to show through. So I'm going to take my ruler. This ruler's kind of messed up. We're going to make the grid match up with this guy directly. So we're going to draw a grid on here, and then we're going to draw a grid on here. So what we want to do is take our ruler, and just start by making one inch tick marks. So I know my ruler's kind of messed up. We'll just start here. Just like so. Notice how I line my ruler up straight with the picture here. That's what you want to do. Then I'm going to come down here and do the exact same thing. Okay, so now I have tick marks on both sides. Now what I'm going to do is very lightly. When I say lightly, very lightly. You're going to drag. Look how loosely I'm holding my pencil. I'm in the middle of the pencil. That will help for any of you that are heavy handed. Barely drag my pencil and get a very light line. Okay, next I'm going to do the same thing, go in the opposite direction. So starting right here, I'm going to line up my line right here and just make one inch grid marks. So notice it goes almost to nine, that's okay. I'm going to come over here. Oh. Hold on. So what you want to do is go from the bottom of your paper and measure where your tick mark stopped at. So right here, I'm noticing that my tick mark ended just a little bit after at about two and three quarters. So I'm just going to make a mark on my ruler right there. I'm going to come over here. This is where I need to make my next tick mark. So again, what you're gonna do, in order to make sure it starts at the same size, because we don't have a picture to use our grid to base off where we add our lines, start up here, you're gonna make your tick marks down. Then you're gonna see where it is from the bottom of the paper. Mine's at two and three quarters. 
right here. So I made a little pencil mark right here, just like so. You can see it lines up perfectly with a tick mark. And then I just brought it over here, easy peasy. Just made a tick mark here. And then I'll know where the bottom of my picture goes. All right, so now we have our grid mark here for the bottom. Up here, we're now going to start from that bottom line that I just drew and start our tick marks. Doesn't matter where you put the tick marks as long as they're kind of on opposite ends. Perfect. Okay, now I'm just going to connect them. Very lightly. Okay, now I have a perfect grid on my sheet of paper. So next, what I'm gonna do is come over here. I'm gonna line it up, and it's easy. As you can see, you can see the lines here. If you made them long enough, you can just use your ruler and lay it down again. So right on top, or you can draw the tick marks back onto your sheet of paper, whichever's easiest. I prefer that you guys just draw the grid onto the sheet of paper using the ruler. So I'm going to start on the inside of the picture, right here. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to make one inch tick marks, but I'm going to grab a colored pencil so that I can see where I make my tick marks on this dark sheet of paper. So. Like so. right up to the left side or go right up to the right side I should say now I'm going to combine them Now I'm going to start the grid here. Okay, and then I have just a little bit down here. Alrighty, now 
when we line it up, we're going to label it now. So this is um, a little tricky only because the grid doesn't measure up totally perfectly. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So right here, if we line it up, you can use your pencil or the colored pencil, it doesn't matter. So we want to start with our very first box. Don't worry about this little section here. You're not going to need it. So right here we have A, B, C, D, and E. I'll take my pencil and I'll line them up here. E, D, C, D, A. Okay. Then 1 and A are in the same box. So I'm just going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And we don't need to worry about this bottom part. It's just black anyway. Okay, so now let's do the same thing over here. So now I'm going to label. A and 1 are in the same box. So this is A1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, so now I'm going to start with my gridding. Most important thing is just work left to right, top to bottom, so that you don't smear. Also, always make sure you have a sheet of paper under your hand at all times so that you avoid smearing and getting lotion and oils and things like that on your paper. Okay, so I'm going to start right here. So, I always start with tick marks. So, I'm going to look to see where this line ends and where this line ends. So this is just about half, a little less than halfway. So I'll make a tick mark there. And then this is about halfway through the box, maybe a little bit higher, maybe about right there. So then I'll draw a line like so. I see that it goes just a little bit farther out. I'm noticing this little triangle here. So I'm gonna draw that little triangle here. This little triangle matches this little triangle. And then this goes down. This is in 3A. So 3A, this is where it ends kind of right up at the top. If I were to make a tick mark, it's about here. I'm going to redraw that 3 so you guys can see it better. It's about a third of the way maybe down. So that's about here. So all I need to do I notice that that line kind of intersects right here. Actually, never mind. Sorry. I'm, in, I'm looking at this. So at 3, which is right here, it's actually right here. So you'll see, even I make mistakes. Grading can be kind of challenging. It's actually pretty frustrating, but it's the only really good way to get proportions correctly. So again, ignore what's in these boxes. We're not gonna draw those. Unless you wanna put them there, you don't have to. Um, and so I just got confused because I thought three was ending here, when in reality, the cassette play player stops right there, okay? All right, so now I see this little highlight here. This is in 2A, so in 2A, I'm just gonna draw that line, give that to myself right now. And then I see this little guy right here. So I'm gonna draw him. And then this guy has a little border. Just like so. So I've got my first cassette player pretty much started. Now, let's go ahead and start here. So at the top of three, I'm gonna start this black cassette tape right here. Sometimes just keeping your fingers on the paper will help. And he goes kind of right under. And then this is about Halfway. Don't feel like you can't mark this up a little bit or a lot of it. If I were to draw that line, and he goes just a little bit farther into B. So here's B. Goes just a little bit into B. 